It's Monday morning and we're on episode 33 of the Dairy Girl Diaries. Now this morning I am, um, well today actually I'm just looking at jobs. I've got two different jobs to look at and then hopefully get them done this week but we'll see how it goes. I um, don't really know what they include as of yet but we'll find out soon. So let's go check them out. It's Tuesday morning and this morning I'm going to pick up my digger. That's right, my digger is finally getting uh, out to work. It's not been at work properly since probably plant works. With having the uh, 85 on demo and other bits and bobs, it's um, it's going back to work. So looking forward to that. So yeah, let's go get it loaded up. There we are, all loaded up, ready for its first job in a while. So what a day it is. Right, this junction I'm just going up to here is a right hairpin, it's a horrible junction. And the turn and circle in the A6 wheeler is pretty terrible, so got to watch, you know, I need to go over to this side of the road, so got to watch cars come around there at a speed and cars try and cut me up the inside. If you mess it up, then you'll have to take a shunt there. And this one's also a nightmare. Good to see that they filled in that ditch up there. That road's gonna last the whole of a couple months. <laughs> right, it's just up here that I'm going. I'm just gonna go up for head first and um, hope if I can get turned or do something up here. It's a farm, so there should be something, hopefully. Oh, she's tight right enough. She said I could go and turn and drive up that way, but I'm just going to reverse because I don't know what I'm going to be dealing with up there. I can reverse the whole way, so. There we are, made it, let's go and check it out. down here it's been partially stripped um, but it's not enough room so my plan is to take all the soil and cast that way down there out the way and take this level the whole way through there where the red is that's where the corners of the house is going I'll straighten this bank out here make it really nice and neat and at the end it'll be a gradual line down to here it's got a beautiful view of the loch as well I can't work for too long here just now I'm um, just gonna literally cast the soil over I've got an hour and I've got to go and pick up a Takuchi and take it to um, another job on the way home. 
So yeah, do a wee bit of casting and that'll be me for today. But it's a cracking job, cracking weather um, and good views. That's the soil all stripped that off that top but there, look how good the ground is, it's actually perfect. Got a big pile of soil right enough, but I'm going to have to go pick the machine up and drop it off before five. Um, so yeah, it's going to let load the coochie up with its new tracks. Some nice snacks for me. So good just now. Right, that's loaded us up. That's me all loaded up, now to get this dropped off. Such a big jump from up here. Only kidding. Two hands all time. For the contact and all that. Let's go. State. How does this happen? Maybe because I've got no gloves. That fit me. Properly. Anyway, we move. Good morning, we're on Wednesday morning, back at this beautiful site, it's a beautiful day again, the view. So this morning I am going to just get rid of all the soil, put it down there, I'm going to have to scrape all the vegetation off the house site itself, clear it all away, um, and then hopefully get started into that bank there. Let's see how it goes. When we're doing a house site like this, this has already been semi done previous, but we strip all the soil off to one side, usually out the way somewhere, and then cut into the hill and level like that. And then when you come to dig your foundations, you're digging through the level bit down to the hard. But that's the corner there of the house. I'm going to take this bank back a bit um, so they can drive their car around here um, at the very end. There's an old fence in there. I'm just going to pull out here and try and roll it up tidy it up a little bit before I do a ditch down here as well to get this water back up there and into the ditch and into the barn there.
there we are, that's the ditch all cleaned out and the water's all running, so that's a bonus. Now we just have to scrape all this off and get that bank dug out. Hopefully when she's like this will dig the bank out, but I think it's to change tomorrow. On Thursday morning already, I'm not too sure how that happened. But this morning plans is to take all the vegetation off this bit here. Um, this is where the house is going, I'll end up losing them marks there, but it's fine. I kind of know roughly where it's going. One edge here, one edge there. Um, so I'll scrape all this off first of all. These two big pipes are going in this burn here. So I'll have to build it up a little bit it's a good bit lower so make all that level for the pipes to sit in there and then everything that I dig out that bank will be going in there and it'll be kind of all level and then drop down towards the fence let's check out my barn it's absolutely roasting here this is a warm it's been in a long time it's been so dry far dry it'll be about a week now it'll be over a week it's been like this so um there shouldn't be much water but I'll there's a bit of water in this new ditch. So what was happening yesterday when I cleaned that ditch out up the top there, um, at the other side of that bund, there was nothing. So the water was just running down that way onto this site here. See, it's quite wet. So me doing that ditch is catching it all the way down from up the top, down to there, which will dry off this site. Um, there'll be no need for having anything there now. It's just going to take a little bit of time for that to dry out because it's been a lot of, um, a lot of years of water there. I'll just do a wee chuck there before I think it. Oh, what a day. Right, let's get scraping this vegetation off. Pipes in. Oh, and also the last time when I was at the football, my dad kind of took the dumper over for me as well, so that's there and ready for me to start digging that bank. I want to get this bank dug out in this weather because the material is cracking. It's um, perfect material for infill. Lots of stones through it. What a day.
gets me all done. I ended up spending a little bit more time tidying up this side in this bank and put a little bit of shape around it. Tidied up this culvert here and put a st stone around the pipe, the head wall as well. Um, tied up this bit, cleared it all, put that piping down there. So tomorrow that just leaves me to dig out that bank and fill in this bit here. Um, to level it all off and there's a hole there for some reason and um, I'll fill in all that I think I'll take that bit down to kind of this level because that's the finished floor level there so it'll have to come down a bit f to allow the foundations and blocking floors and stuff and that'll go in here that's me I'm going to the beach with the kiddies see you tomorrow morning it's Friday morning and um I had to give up, I had to put the aircon on in here because it's absolutely roasting but I'm going to have to turn it off soon because I'm just about to jump onto the dumper too. So I'm digging out all this today, putting in a dumper and I've got to jump between both and I forgot my cap so it's not ideal. But anyway, let's get on with it. Why is this conked out? Oh no.
are. That's how it's looking so far. Um, so you can see they've got a view of the loch, and you can't actually see it. Is that it's reflecting that much? But the loch is actually there. Levels it all off a bit. Just got that other half to do. That'll be Monday now. But that's another week over and done with. As always, thank you for the likes, comments, and to subscribing to me. And come back next week and see what I'm up to. I'm gonna head over to Germany again for a couple of days, so make sure you don't miss that. Thanks, guys. Whoa! Oh my god, these gloves are stinking. Also, think I've smashed this camera as well. Not ideal. I'm trying to fix her. I just want to kill.